Hey everyone, today I'm going to be trying to tell my fortune with the magic fortune teller miracle fish. So I'll be trying it out and then I'll be trying to figure out how it actually works. Now it tells me to place the fish in the palm of my hand and its movements will indicate if it's moving its head, then I'm a jealous person. If it's moving its tail, I'm indifferent. If it's moving its head and tail, I'm in love. If it's curling its sides, I'm fickle. If it turns over, I'm false. What does that mean? And if it's motionless, dead one. Am I dead or the fish is dead? And if it curls up entirely, I'm passionate. Ooh. So let's go ahead and see what my fortune is with this fish, and then we'll try to figure out how it's working. Okay, let's see what it does in my hand now. Whoa. Immediately curled up. Flips over. <laughs> Look at it just wriggle on my hand. Okay, let's see if it finally stops. Let's try my other hand here. It's like it's alive, this is so weird. <laughs> It got away. It turned over, so I'm false. <laughs> it keeps coming off my hand. It's curling up, moving its head and tail. I am fickle, and I'm in love. I think I'm everything. <laughs> Whoa. It's like it's trying to get off my hand. It did curl up entirely, so I'm also passionate, mind you. So what's my fortune if it keeps jumping off my hand? That is so weird. It looks like it's alive. Okay, so let's try to figure out what's going on with this fish now. Why is it curling up? Now the first guess would probably be the heat of my hand. So let's test out that theory. Okay, so to test this out, I'm gonna use this aluminum plate here and I'll heat it up to my body temperature and then set the fish on it and see if we see the same curling motion. Okay, so I'm just heating it up right now. Try to get it to 37 degrees Celsius, which is body temperature. We're at 30 right now. Okay, we're at 34 degrees Celsius. That should be close to temperature of my hand. Okay, let's put it up here. Now without touching it with my hands. <laughs> Nothing. There's a little bit of curling. Looks like it curls on the edges a little bit, but definitely nothing like what was going on in my hand. So this is definitely the dead one it's talking about here. Nothing happened. So yeah, this is, this is warm to the touch, so it's not the heat of my hand that's doing it because this is the same temperature as my hand. So what is causing it to curl up on my hand then? Well, is it something like the shape of my hand? Well, let's test that with just a fake hand and see if it does anything. So let's see if it just needs a hand. So it's not the shape of the hand. It's not the heat of the hand. Well, what else could it be? Well, one thing I've noticed is that when I touch the fish with my gloved hand, it doesn't curl that much. So one thing this is blocking, and I know it's blocking it because my hand is always sweaty when I take it out of the glove, is it's not letting water evaporate from my hand. So what if it's actually the water, the evaporation of water from my hand? Well, let's test that out. Okay, so let's try now just putting some water on this paper towel and then putting the fish on top of it and seeing what happens. Put a few drops here. Okay, let's get my fish, set it there. And it's curling. <laughs> so very similar to what was going on in my hand there. This one got all tied up in a knot, actually. So this is more severe twisting than there was going on in my hand, it looks like. 
Maybe let's try it with a little less water and see what happens. Okay, just put one drop of water on there. Let it soak through. Okay, put the fish on. And there it goes, right where the water drop was, that's where it curls. So what's interesting about this is it's pretty obvious now, it looks like the water is the thing curling it, but it actually works best on my hand. And it's not like my hand was wet or anything, so it only takes a tiny little bit of water in order to make this curl. It looks like if you have too much water, it curls it too much and it doesn't kind of wiggle around. It just kind of ties itself in a knot. So these are actually made of cellophane, which is regenerated cellulose. So really, even though they look like plastic, they should be classified as more of a paper than a plastic because it is cellulose. But one interesting thing about cellulose is it can absorb water vapor very easily. So water can absorb into it, and when it absorbs into it, it actually expands. And so that's where the curling comes from. So the side that's near the water gets thicker, and as it gets thicker, it makes it expand on the bottom, and that curls it. But then as it curls up and changes direction, it can flip over. Now this side is towards the bottom, and so this side will start to curl the other direction, so it kind of wriggles around on your hand. Okay, since I have a bunch more of these fish, let's have a wriggle party with the rest of them. Looks like I'm doing some sort of weird ritual. Just getting some water down on these paper towels. Okay, here we go. Look at them wiggle around. It just looks like they're alive. If you don't believe me, this is actually a type of paper. Look at what it looks like when I burn it. Looks very similar to paper, doesn't it? Not plastic. Plastic melts. It doesn't burn into ash like that. So you can see it's just this paper-like ash left over. So no melting and just burns into this ash, ash here, just like normal paper. Hey everyone, thanks for watching me read my fortune with these magic fish. I'm glad we figured it out. If you haven't subscribed to the Action Lab, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.